Well, here we go again. Now, if you look closely, you'll see a little squirrel up in the left-hand corner of the wood pile. There we go, that's steady. And he's been walking in and out of there, crawling around in the wood pile. So as soon as he disappears, we can stand here and wait and see where the hell he might pop back out again. I have about a half a dozen of these little critters around here and I'm kind of wondering what to do. And I'm open for suggestions. So just leave a comment as to what's going to happen to these things. We could trap them and relocate them. But there must be a hundred thousand of these friggin' things right around here. And I don't really want to go out and start shooting them either because that's not right. They just want, they're hungry too. So, what should I do? I just can't afford to keep going getting uh, bird feed to feed these guys. And then the birds don't have any because they can go through a... A bird feeder pretty quick and the bird feeders just this one of the feeders is just to the left there it is and right now in that black chat black cap chickety bird feeder we feed a lot of black cap chickadees boy that's a tongue twister that one so we've had uh Six different species of birds come to these things, and I remember two or three. There's an evening grosbeak, that's kind of a yellow looking thing, it's a pretty bird. There's those black cap ones, there's uh, the blue jays, and uh, hmm, the black cap chickadees. And these squirrels, I'm going to have to start giving them names before long. But he's just sitting there. Let's see if we can get him moving. Psst! Yeah, friggin' thing. Looks like he's probably sleeping. I got to go up there today and anyway and get some of that wood. Who knows how many's in there. He just... Church, you think? He's just sitting there just still as hell. Do you think he was in church? How you doing? So, the weather here today is maybe minus 12. It's been colder than hell here lately. And I think that's why they've started getting some birds coming to the feeder. Oh well. I found my, uh, fire poker finally after all these years and that's that silver thing with the ring on it there by the hooks just in front of the hooks it's great for ripping and tearing into the fire I'm just going to leave you here if this thing won't fall over oh, I ain't going to make it I'll see if I can scare that freaking squirrel off of there oh, that ain't going to work I can't move i got to stay here and hold on to the damn thing so just uh I need one of those, oh, there it is. I need one of those gorilla things. Okay, I'll be right back and I'll see if I can make them move. There he goes. Now where'd he go? Oh, he's in the back there. And if they keep still, they're hard to spot. And right on the other side of this woodshed today, there was a deer walking through the orchard there, but I didn't have a chance. I was busy on the phone there talking to a friend. And I didn't have a chance to go get the camera. And what he's doing is scraping the snow out of the way to kind of get to the uh, apples, so... Most of these apples probably on the ground now have been fermenting. So we'll have some drunken deer running around here today. 
I gotta get around to fixing my computer. I've been using Mama's laptop and I don't like that. Anyway. Come on, you damn thing. It was inter I was watching him and he was going in and out of these logs all over the place there. It was quite entertaining. Now he just sits there and just doesn't do anything. I'll have to come back and try this again. Today's the 4th of December. Looks like winter's here for good. We're about 5 degrees uh, colder here than in the city right now too. So it'll be like that for the rest of the winter. We do get some nice sun up here. They had some sun yesterday that just... We had the fire fire going, and then when the sun hit the house there, we have a lot of solar, uh, we pick up a lot of the solar energy inside the house. And boy, it, it turned it into like, it was like Abu Dhabi in the summertime in here. We ended up having to crack a couple of windows just to keep the heat down. But anyway, that damn thing ain't moving. As soon as I go to the other room, it'll start moving, because I'll get out there. Oh, there's a block. There's the black cat chickadee in the black cat chickadee feeder. I think we're going to have to get a different feeder because that's just a little bit too much to say. Or either that or I'm going to have to start gluing in my teeth. Oh, there he goes. We've seen a downy woodpecker here too. Oh, there's a little guy just, man, they've just got ADHD, those things. Look at them. Just boink, boink. Come on, you varmint. No. They're good blasting. But of course, we don't want to get the, all them tree hugging and animal loving people upset what goes on up in the woods up here in the back of the Doran Ridge. This is pretty out there. Boy, I tell you, the wind coming in from the west here, it's just enough to freaking crack your cheeks when they get cold. It's freaking, friggin' cold. Come on, you friggin' thing. It's probably pretty safe for them in there. So, basically, we've burnt one row of wood already, and we're now into December, so it's about a row of wood Per month, so we got enough to get through the winter. I think doesn't really matter anyway. And next winter, we're going to have this done by summertime, so the wood is super dry by the time winter comes. It's a little wet this year, so you got to get the fire nice and hot before you put a piece of that wetter wood in there. Luckily for me, the all the wet wood's been burnt already, or most of it. And we're slowly moving ourselves into where the wood's been seasoned. But you got to have properly seasoned firewood. Anyway, I think that's good enough for today. It's been about a week since I put a video out. I'd like to wish you guys all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Alright, toodaloo. Stay safe. Be good.